everyone, my name is Umaira and in this video, I would like to share with you guys about my skin journey and what I do to my skin from these two tips. So, as everyone knows that skin is the biggest part of our body, so we have to take a good care of it. But before that, we have to know what type of our skin is, the concern and the outcome that we want to achieve for our skin. In the time everyone is spending a lot of money and energy to achieve their goal skin, I take the same step as that. So my skin journey starts when I had a mild breakout back then, when I'm 18 years old, when I'm at my third semester for my diploma. At first, I thought it was just a normal breakout due to stress, but for me that never had a skin problem before, it was so frustrating to deal with the breakouts. As the time goes by, the breakout is getting worse until I don't want to meet anyone, my confidence level dropped to the earth and I think it was just my fate to live with the breakout skin forever. But instead of I just give up with the skin condition at the time, I tried to find out the reasons for the breakout. After several researches that I have done at that moment, I found out that makeup, especially foundation, stress overload and also keep changing my skincare product are the main reasons for the breakout. This is because every time I wear foundation, the acne keep popping out. Other than that, I often change my skincare product because I cannot wait for a longer time to see the result from the product itself. Due to that bad habit, my skin barrier is broken and it turns out very sensitive, especially to the sunlight. When the skin barrier is broken, I can see a sign of redness, itchiness, flakiness, dehydration, or even the worse, the acne keep flaring up on the skin. Damaged skin barrier can result to burning or stinging sensation whenever I try to apply the skincare product on my skin. And at the end, my skin cannot tolerate with the skincare product that I use anymore. Even I use from the cheapest to the expensive one, it doesn't work at all. After I saw all the signs appear on my skin, I took the courage to meet a certified dermatologist at Dr. Chong Clinic based at Sha'ala. I made this decision because I do not want to try any kind of skincare products anymore because I don't know what suits the best for my skin concern at that time. So the result from the consultation with the doctor is he diagnosed me with nodular cystic acne with a lot of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and also post-acne scarring. He also prescribed me with oral medication which are isotretinoin 10 mg, antibiotics and also topical benzoyl peroxide for one month intake. In the same time where I consume all the medications given to me, I also try a new skincare regime where I did some researches on the best ingredients, works the best to treat my acne and also my damaged skin barrier. So I try all these four skincare products just to give it a try, but it turns out very good and it works well on my skin just because all these four products contains the best ingredients like hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, alpha arbutin, alpha hydrolic acid and also beta hydrolic acids that proven to be a good ingredient to treat the breakout skin. Finally, I would say that all the hard works that I have been focused for months finally paid off because my skin recovered almost 70%. Nothing to thank more than all the medications given to me to treat my acne and also all the skincare products that I use to treat my skin concern. So lastly, I want to say that consistency and patience is the key in my skin journey. So if I can do it, you guys that also have the same concern as me also can do it. Thank you for watching. Bye.